electrochemical water splitting into oxygen and hydrogen using renewable energy source is generally considered a clean and sustainable technology for high purity hydrogen gas production. Water electrolysis consists of two half electrochemical reactions the cathodic hydrogen evolution reaction and anodic oxygen evolution reaction. In this process, the oil is a bottleneck in water splitting because of the, inter- the intrinsically sluggish kinetics that involve the multi step electron transfer process compared to the HER. To improve the performance of the overall water splitting process, the, ev- the development of efficient and durable electrocatalyst for the OER is crucial. Precious metal-based oxides like iridium oxide and ruthenium oxide have been regarded as state-of-the-art electrocatalysts for the OEL owing to their reasonably high activity. However, the, their high cost, scarcity, and insufficient durability have seriously hindered their large-scale application. In this work, pit of nickel cobalt sulfide nanoneedles directly grown on, on nickel foam were prepared by the simple one step phosphorization with P2S pipe as both a phosphorus and sulfur source and served as an efficient electrocatalyst for the oil. First of all, a piece of nickel foam was cleaned with one more H- HCl for 15 minutes to remove the oxide layers and rinsed with the excess of deionized water and ethanol. 3 millimole of nickel chloride and 6 millimole of cobalt chloride and 20 millimole of rare were dissolved in 60 milliliter of di water under vigorous stirring to form a clean pink solution. Nickel foams was were then put into the solution, transferred into the teflon line autoclave, and kept at a constant temperature of 160 Celsius degree for eight hours. One gram of PTS5 powder in alumina boat and the prepared nickel cobalt carbonate hydroxide were subsequently placed in the tuber furnace and heated at 200, 260 Celsius degree for two hours under argon flow. The morphology of the prepared p of nickel cobalt sulfide on nickel foam was investigated by Sam and Tam. All the images indicate the densely packed nanometers with an average diameter of appro- approximately 100 nanometer were homogeneously distributed on the surface of the porous nickel foam. The vertically aligned nanoneedles can promote the infiltration of the electrolyte onto the electrode surface owing to the capillary action, thereby increasing the gas solid interface friction and improving the release of gas bubbles from the surface. The elemental mapping images of energy dispersive spectroscopy demonstrate the homogeneous distribution of nickel, cobalt, sulfur, and phosphorus in the p of nickel cobalt sulfide nanoneedles. To evaluate the electrocatalytic performance of the as prepared samples for the OEL, LSB, TAPEL, and ECSA, EIS, and CP test was conducted with the standard 3 electrode system in a nitrogen saturated 1 mole KOH solution. This work offers a viable strategy to design and develop cost efficient and high performance electrocatalysts based on non-noble transition metal based materials for the OER.